Okay, so let's get started with the next few problems. So we're gonna go through seven, eight, and nine. So seven says, abandoned mines frequently fill with water. Before an abandoned mine can be reopened, the water must be pumped out. The size of the pump required depends on the depth of the mine. And then it gives us an equation d squared over 25 plus 4d minus 250. And then it says d is equal to 150 feet. So d is equal to 150. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug in 150 wherever we see the d. So we're going to plug in 150 squared divided by 25 plus 4 times 150 minus 250. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to just write the order of operations because we're going to have to use them. So parentheses, technically there's nothing inside the parentheses that we can do. There's no action inside there. It's not 150 plus 4 inside the parentheses or times anything inside the parentheses. So we're not going to do anything with the parentheses. The second one is exponents. So there is an exponent here. So 150 squared would be 150 times 150. And that's equal to 22,500. And I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the equation. Okay. So then we did exponents. Now it's multiply or divide. So whichever one comes first. So 22,500 over 25. That's the same as saying 22,500 divided by 25. So right here is division. So we're going to go ahead and divide. So that is equal to 900. And we're going to go ahead and bring down the rest of the equation. Okay. So we multiplied. Actually, no, sorry. We divided because division came first. And then next, we would multiply. So we do 4 times 150. That's 600. And so we're going to continue to bring down the equation. So we multiplied and divided. Now we're going to add or subtract, again, whichever one comes first. So 900 plus 600, the addition comes first. So we're going to do 1,500 minus 250. And that is going to be equal to 1,250. So again, we were trying to figure out what the answer would be. So it would be 1,250 gallons per minute. So our answer is D. Okay, perfect. That was simple. All you have to do is get this equation out of that big paragraph, then to go ahead and place whatever number they give for the variable, which in this case was 150. Then we have to follow the order of operations. Just remember, when it comes to multiplying and dividing, adding and subtracting, those are or, whichever one comes first. So you can multiply or divide first add or subtract first. All right, well done, you guys. Let's go ahead and move on to question number eight. And if you guys hear little pitter-patters of feet walking around the room, that's my tortoise, and he refused to stay in his enclosure today. And I keep putting him back inside, but he decided that he just wants to walk around. And so if you guys hear like little walking around, <laughs> that's my tortoise, Sherman. And there he is. All right, guys. So question number eight, it says the length in inches of a box is three inches less than the than twice its width in inches. Okay, so we're dealing with length and we're dealing with width. Which of the following gives the length in inches? Oh my goodness, I can't read. Which of the following gives the length L inches in terms of the width W inches of the box? All right, so it tells us the length is three inches less than twice the width. It doesn't tell us what the width is at all. So we're just gonna put X for width. And then it says the length is three inches less. So that would be subtracting three, then twice the width. Twice means times two. So we're going to take the width and we're gonna multiply it by two and subtract three. So we would do multiply by two, so it would be two X, and we would subtract three and that would be what the length is equal to. So it's asking us which of the following gives the length in terms of the width. So the length would be 2x minus 3. Or in this case, they want us to use w. So it would be 2w minus 3. So our answer is going to be j. 
So just a reminder with this problem, because they're, they're going to be similar to this on a test, but they're not going to be the exact thing. So anytime they say the words less or more than, less means you're subtracting, more than means you're adding. I like to just write it on top of the word problem. If we're adding three, I write plus three. If we're subtracting three, I write minus three. Then anytime it says twice or double, that means two times. If it says triple, then that means times three. And I like to, again, on top of the word problem, write what it means. Twice means times two, so I'm gonna write times two on top of the word problem. And then you may be asking, okay, well, Miss Amber, how did you decide how to order it? How did you know that you multiply first and then subtract? The rule is always, you're always going to do the multiplication first, and you can write this down, and then you add or subtract second, okay? So if they say three times the amount of the width plus four, it would be three X plus four. Multiplication comes first, adding or subtracting comes second. All right, so great job, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and go to problem number nine, which this is, I worked it out a little bit, but I want us to start from scratch. Okay, so it says in the quadrilateral P, Q, R, S below, sides P and S and Q and R are parallel for what value of X? Okay, so they said this line P and S is parallel to Q and R, okay? So knowing that these lines are parallel, you can go ahead and extend this line a little bit and extend this line a little bit. And what you'll see with parallel lines, if this is 70 degrees, then this angle would also be the same amount. So this angle would also be 70 degrees. But they're not asking us what this angle was. They're actually asking us what this angle is. So if these two angles together form a straight line, that means when you put the two numbers together, it equals 180 degrees because a straight line is 180 degrees. Okay, so we have to figure out 70 plus what is equal to 180 degrees. Well, we can go ahead and solve this. So we can subtract 70 from both sides, 110, would be what's missing. So 110 would be that missing angle. And our answer would be D, 110 degrees. So the next time you get something like this, I know it may be challenging, a little bit difficult, but just I first like to always draw on whatever it is that they gave me. So if they give me a shape, I like to draw over it and I like to write what it is that they give me, and then I also try to write what it is that I know. So because these two lines are parallel, I wanna go ahead and I just wanna like make sure that I remember that these are parallel. Then I wanna go ahead and extend the lines, extend the lines. If this is 70, this means this corresponding angle is also 70. If these two angles together make 180 degrees, then this angle must be 110 degrees because 110 degrees plus 70 is equal to 180 degrees. And my answer would be D. All right, great job you guys today. I think I'm gonna go ahead and I usually like to go over the practice problems that are online for whatever test I'm going through. But then eventually I like to make my own practice tests where I can give you guys a few examples so that we can keep practicing and practicing and practicing. And then that way you'll be able to pass the test when you go ahead and take it. So if you guys are interested, please follow um, my page and I'll be posting some more practice problems soon. And then I'll also be posting some practice tests soon as well. All right, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you soon.